Uh, hi everyone, this is the second episode for the Electroclus hunt, and here is the image for all the Electroclus near the Tarasuna island, so feel free to skip to the ones that you're missing. Right, for the, uh, the 40th, well it's the first one for this episode, I'll just start to call it the first one. So, first of all you want to teleport to this waypoint near the Pyro Hypostasis, and then you want to make your way towards the left side of the board bus arena, and then nearby there will be a abandoned ship with the electro flower available to be picked up. Pick it up, and then go towards the barrier in this direction. The first one is right on top of it. Now make your way back to the teleportation waypoint, either by teleporting or not, and then you want to go to the other direction, and you'll see this house here. Then you want to head towards the left side here, there's a tiny room here, and there's your second one. Now, making your way towards this direction, and then the electroclus is right underwater. Don't worry um, if you just swim straight to it, because when I reached it, I still had one and a half bar left, so you should be able to swim to that with plenty of stamina. Now you want to teleport to the crew encampment, then there's this tiny puzzle you want to solve. First of all, grab this relay stone. Then you want to link it near this one and try to extend it as much as possible. Once that's linked, you want to get yourself electrocuted and then walk towards in between these two stones. Now once that gate is open here, then the next electroculus is right here. Once again teleport back to the Kujo encampment. Now this time, when you're up here, I'm making sure you have already done the quest to unlock the barrier for the Tarasuna. If not, then you want to come here in a cutting wood plate and talk to these two, and then finish the mission that's related to it. Right now, either way, you want to head towards this direction, and on the guard tower, there is your next electric place. Now you want to make your way towards this direction. Uh, I'm just doing this so I can get the quest. Oh, sorry, get the chest while well, I'm already here. Then you want to keep going this direction after you have collected the chest. Once you reach the this little eye, uh, stone on top of it, and then you want to solve the puzzle here in order to activate the electro flower. Once you have activated it, then you'll be able to use it to teleport your way to get the next electro pillars. Now we want to use the ship station nearby, and then by calling your ship, then we'll move towards the next electrophilus location. Be careful of this ele electro mage when you're here. But yeah, anyway, the next electrophilus is right here. After you have collected it, you want to teleport to the Statue of the Seven on the Tatarasuna Ming Island. Cut way over here. Uh, don't forget to try to collect enough of these mysterious coaches because they are helpful. If you get lucky enough, you can get the bow weapon blueprint by this shell house nearby. But anyway, once you came up here, the next electroclus will be on top of the shell house right here. The next electroclus is a little bit complicated because then you need to solve three different puzzles to be able to gain the electro flower uh, ability to teleport to gain the next electroclus. But in the same time, you can also get another, I think, luxurious chest inside this barrier as well. So first of all, you want to come here and solve this puzzle over here. After you have completed the puzzles, then Electro Flower, uh, Electro Spirit will appear. Then just follow it, and it will go towards the Electro Flower. And there are two more puzzles uh, that's related to this. You need total of those three um, Electric Spirits to activate the flower. The next one is over here, it's just a, you have to activate it to feed the enemies that comes up, and then next one will show up. Once again, you want to follow it and go back to the Electro Flower. Here we need to head back towards the left side of this uh, shell hut, and this one is quite tricky and it can also be bugged at the current version version of the game i do believe so for example like this you need you need to be electrocuted or have electric status on you then have the arrows pointed at you 
from the all the compasses, but it's not working for me the first time. So you want to re-log in the game. So basically exit and come back in, and then it should work for you. Uh, like this case now. So first one, you want to be making sure that both these two arrows are pointing at you already. Then wait for your electric status to disappear. And then you want to come to this electric stone here, and then get electrocuted, and then you want to come towards the other one and try to not affect the other two that you have done previously. Then once you've done that, the last one will spawn and once again follow it to the end. And now you can use the electric flower to gain the electric coolers and also solve the puzzle inside to get the luxurious chest. Now you need to teleport this teleportation waypoint near the um, person that helps you unlock the Tartarasuna barrier. If you haven't done it, then this is your chance to do it. All you have to do is come over to him, talk to him, and then get the quest going. Once you have break the barrier, you also gain the ability to use the cannon, which is essential to collect one of the electricals in um, a later part of this video. Once you have done that, um, the next electric list is also underneath here, so you need to grab this before you head towards the next one. It's right underneath him, so uh, underneath this little cave, make sure you do not drop down too far. All you have to do is jump off and use your wind glider uh, to turn back towards the inside, slowly fall, falling to get the next electric list. Before we move on, if you are breaking the barrier in the process, then you might as well break the domain door entrance um, so on the electric list is ready to be collected in the future. If you need a help regarding how this is done, then there's another guide in the description. Next up, you want to teleport to the Statue of the Seven on the island, and then you want to make your way upward and head towards the next electric list. Now after you have defeated the enemies, keep working your way up here, then um, I also decided to follow the city to complete, to get a chest as well, but once you work your way up here, you should see another electric list behind this tiny shrine here. Now after you teleport back to this teleportation waypoint, make sure you have a healer, uh, either a well-built um, Barbara or Chi Chi should make this case work. So you want to be able to sustain yourself inside the hazardous zone for a while because this area, if you didn't know, you'll continuously take electric damage, shields will not work, so you need a healer to constantly heal you. So once you have followed where I'm going and grabbed that electric flower, you want to make your way up this chimney as fast as possible and drop down this your next electric list. You want to use the same teleportation once again then come back the same way or get out of that chimney either way you want to use the same electro flower then this time instead of going up the chimney you are going downward because behind this chimney is a little chest that contains a hidden key that we'll use to unlock one of the doors later on that includes the weapon blueprint for the two-handed sword and then other electric list. This next electric list is really tricky, making sure that you follow the right direction is essential and making sure that you have a character that can help you with climbing etc is really important. You want to drop down from the statue then slowly work your way towards the inside of the cave and it's on top of this little cave here. Next up teleport to the top of the Tarasuna area, we'll be using this teleportation point numerous times just to know uh, that we'll be using it a lot. And here, if you have unlocked this chest, an easy way is jump off, then come back, and you can activate it. Now, well, let's get on to the electric list. So, if you, wanna, you want to head towards this side and drop down to this tiny building right here, and it's just inside the house here. Once you come out of the house, you want to aim towards this direction that I'm aiming right now and fly towards it. There's another key to be collected. It has a total of three to be collected and here is the second key to be collected. 
now you want to turn 180 and head towards where the domain you just unlocked is at don't worry about it as long as you go this way and drop down you can always get into the domain don't worry about the height and once you're inside well, the electroclist is high up on this wall here if you have unlocked the domain uh, you can teleport to here but if you haven't this is also an opportunity to unlock it Teleport once again to the top of the mountain and then now we start working on the other electric list that's in the area. Now you want to drop down from here and then slowly descend to not fall too much because this one's quite high up but once you come down towards this side of the cave there's one electric list just hiding right here. Once again teleport back up to the same teleportation waypoint and now we move towards the center parts of the Tatarasuna. This area is crammed with electroclues, so be sure to keep a keen eye on where I'm going and how I'm going about it. First of all, you want to come towards this direction, towards the center of the furnace thing that we've been talking about. Make sure you do not descend too much because or else you won't be able to get this electroclues. Once you get the first one here, then you want to turn immediately 90 degrees to the right. And then on top of the building is a little chest that contains the third key. Then that's all the keys we need for um, one of the electric list that's locked behind the door. Now, don't be like me and did a stupid mistake. Now you want to head towards the left side to grab that electro flower before you can enter the barrier to collect the next electric list. Your next electric is here, then you want to come back 180 and go up the step stairs here to the left side, then it's inside the house in here. The next electric is after this one is quite tricky and I'll show you where it is at. Uh, so do you see on the wall over there? That's where it's at. It's quite hard to get to, so you need as much height as possible. So I recommend coming your way up here, get to the highest spots of the houses, and then work your way down. Having cause of herb entity, etc., uh, making sure you have enough height at, at the start is essential uh, because I still didn't have enough height over here. So make sure um, at the beginning of your descent, you try to jump down from as high as possible. But either way, if you uh, couldn't make up this height, it's still okay to just climb towards it so you don't need to have Kazuha just climb in the same method that I'm climbing and work your way from here this little area that you can fit your head in and cling on to the left side of the wall then once you reach that you can always reach the electric place be sure to make sure you have enough HP you can always open up your inventory to eat a food that helps your stamina and HP once you've got that one you want to turn towards the left side here and make your way onto the platform you must have seen that little cave inside the next one is inside this cave and you can grab your next electricals. The next electricals is where we're going to use those three keys that we have collected. And once again, you'll also reward you with the two hand sword um, blueprint of Inazuma. So all you have to do is come down, drop down to the lowest area over here then there's this locked door here it requires you all three keys to open inside there will be enemies to fire so prepare yourself and here's the reward and your electric list is on the other side of the cave it's quite easy to spot and you don't need much of a way to make it up here just as long as you can come in here this electric list is free once again you want to teleport to the top of the building uh, top of the mountain and then when you want to work your way down here so those towards this direction uh, follow the cliffside then you should see electric uh hiding inside the tree then making sure you grab it and then do not teleport back then just keep flying forward and then grab the next one here as well i'm gonna drop down slowly and keep keep a keen eye on the right side it's hiding in one of the tree branches here try to not fall down too much or else you need to teleport back up once again now teleport up once you have got those two electric clothes and work your way towards this electric tree towards the left side of the lower grounds the next electric clothes is right on, on top of its branches once you have get it turn 180 and there's another one nearby turn 180 and work your way below this cave 
that's nearby, then turn left side once you have dropped down the cave, there'll be a samurai to fight, but um, you don't, don't have to fight him to get the electric list, you can also just grab it and go. For the remaining three electric clears, you want to teleport once again near to this teleportation waypoint where uh, the guy Xavier is at. Then you want to fly towards that little two rocks in the middle of the uh, sea. And then electric clears is right on top of that. You don't need a special wind counter to grab it, so it's pretty easy as long as you make your way on top of this higher rock and jump towards it, you can always get it. Now make your way towards this side. Uh, 180 to 180 once you have got it and then there's quite a lot of samurais here and I was, I was I got hit quite a lot because I couldn't make my way up here but once you have grabbed this electricals you can leave or take them down it's it's down to you since they have hit me a few times I already hate that so I'm just, it's sad to kill them anyway once you have got that then we're on to the last one of the area this area sure is crammed with electricals, so I hope you can uh, keep up. If you can't, just roll back and play on a slower speed. Um, just recording this also gave me quite a lot of trouble as well. So you want to work, we'll make your way towards this large ship in the area. And on top of its poles is the last electricals. And that's all the electricals in the Tarasuna area. And here is an honorable uh, uh, mention of a mission that I think you want to do on the Tarasuna island if you have not done it. I do believe once you have unlocked the barrier and this lady will be spawning here as always, then you want to talk to her and regarding the electric trees that's on the island. If you go close, it will keep zapping you. By finishing this quest, it will disable the trees. Uh, the mission itself is not too hard as long as you pay attention to the quest and the dialogues, it's pretty easy to do. But one thing that's quite annoying to find out is where the trees are at, so I'll have a few symbols marked out on the map for you, so you can go investigate uh, while you need the locations for these trees. Here, uh, here on this map, if you see the mission marker with the exclamation mark, that is where you need to go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and the next episode will be coming out um, really shortly. And thank you very much for showing up, and I always appreciate um, all the supports that you guys have given me in the past few days. I didn't expect so many of you actually turned up. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.